Did we get it all wrong about endometriosis? For decades, scientists have claimed that endometriosis is an estrogen-driven disease, but there may be a completely different underlying mechanism at play. We know that the cells from endometriosis come from inside the uterus and actually land in your pelvis somehow or originate there, but are very similar to the cells from within your uterus. The problem is your immune system is supposed to go in there and attack them and kill them off and gobble them up. So we've got one class of cells called natural killer cells. They're the fight them off cells. They go in there, attack, shoot them, kill them, and then they call on their buddies, the macrophages, which are supposed to come pick up the dead and scurry them off and get rid of them. What's happening is those cells are not functioning properly. The immune system is now recognized as a major culprit in failing to deal with endometriosis because they're not able to actually kill the endometriotic cells, not because the cells don't have the mechanism to do it, but because they're not recognizing the need to do it. And more importantly, the macrophages that are supposed to carry the dead cells away, not only are they not carrying away the cells, they're actually trying to hide the fact that they didn't by covering them up. And when they do that, they're creating scar and all that scarring is creating pain and infertility. So, the amazing thing about this is we may actually have an entirely new therapeutic approach because instead of giving women hormones or anti-hormones that are blocking their estrogen and creating all sorts of anti-estrogenic symptoms like menopause, you actually may be able to target the immune system and go after those specific endometriotic cells, target them, kill them, and get rid of them by teaching your immune system to do what it was supposed to do from the first place.